Welcome back to Experimental Recording Techniques. I'm Noam Wallenberg. We're here at Rax Tracks Recording. We were with Woody Goss from Wolfpack, and we put together a little bit of a, you know, minute-long track. And this week, Woody's gonna go ahead and and put some, some bass lines on top of that. Uh, this week, we're gonna be taking a piano and trying to transform it into a clavy sounding bass instrument, right? Uh, we're gonna use a pretty basic piano sound. We are gonna mic it with a contact microphone. It's just sitting on the soundboard. And that contact microphone, we're gonna compress a lot using an 1176. And then we are gonna send it through uh, an auto filter, right? Essentially a wah pedal. Uh, this, for this instance, we're gonna be using a mutator uh, made by Mutronics Limited, and after we record it, we're gonna put a little bit of Wolf compressor on it just to kind of bring everything super forward, and we're gonna see how it sounds. Gonna listen first to just the contact microphone. Sounds crazy, right? It's super filtered. We're, we're taking a lot of low end out of it. We're taking a little bit of high end out of it, and we're smashing it to bits with an 1176. Uh, the settings that we're using are all buttons in and turned way up. So very compressed. Uh, that signal we're sending through our Mutronics Ottawa. Now the Mutronics filter, it is essentially a, an envelope filter that has a resonance in it. The low pass filter is going to change based on what the input is, right? How loud the input, if it gets louder, the filter goes up, if it gets quieter, the filter goes down, and it has a resonance on it. So it has a peak at the point where the filter is, is moving, and that's how you get this kind of sweepy sound. On top of that sound, we're gonna add some Wolf compressor to just kind of bring, bring out every little nook and cranny of the sound, and we're just gonna be listening to the wet signal. Just our contact mic. Here is it going through the filter. So, it sounds a little bit like a Moog. It's, it's not terribly different from the filter circuit on those. Uh, the input into it, because it's a piano, you can hear a little bit of, of character. So it's not, you know, you might ask, why not just use a synth on this? There's a difference. It's got something that's, that's, uh, that feels unique to this, this recording that we're doing right now. Let's hear it in the context of the, the rest of the track. <laughs> 